and uh, I don't have an out label and in label. And now we come to the interesting part of linked open data, the linking with other resources. And Pool Party provides a set of predefined resources we can link to. Here's, uh, for example, the Library of Congress subject headings. And if you have a word that is only one word and also in English, and, uh, the compatible class in the Library of Congress subject headings, you can, a Pool Party automatically finds it and shows us uh, the result. And we can choose with this here, with the link with, we can choose uh, some uh, SCOS tags like uh, narrow or close match and broad image. I have here close match. And we see the resources from the Library of Congress subject headings. Here's a link for the concept. They have no match, no alt label, but we have the same as to authorities here. Yeah, that's all. You click OK, and then we have linked the concept from the gender uh, classification, gender mainstreaming to the Library of Congress subject headings, concept gender mainstreaming, and that's the whole part. The whole idea of uh, linked open data to link similar concepts together. I have used here the exact match, and here you can see some other sources Pool Party provides, like WordNet, Umber, GeoNames, and also DBpedia. I have also used uh, DBpedia as a link, as you can see, to gender mainstreaming in DBpedia. It's also one click, and so we have two links already for gender mainstreaming, and so it's very easy. Here's the RDF view for the triples. We have here the concept, the pref label, gender mainstreaming. Here's the, here's the broader connection to the, the main class. Then we have intransitive, it's not so important here. And we have the exact match here exact match to Library of Congress concept, exact match to an authority file, and you see exact match to the DBpedia resource. So everything seems to be in order. And we can go on to the overview, how it will look to the non-technical librarian. Um, we have here the, the name, uh, the, the Names um, main class, woman politics. Here's a close match, the close matches we have found to the Wikipedia, Bible of Congress, authority file, and uh, here's authority file, and here's a concept from Library of Congress. Here's a, uh, the name, and here's a notation. And 10, 8 in this case. Yeah, but what we need is we need more links. Pool Party provides only a predefined set of links, but we can see here's a whole a lot of uh, resources to choose from, and uh, yeah, which one to choose? Then you can have a look at the library corner of the Linked Open Data Cloud. It's uh, on the top. Here we can see the Library of Congress. They are already linked there. Here we have the German Gemeinsame Normdatei. It's already exposed to the uh, web of data I can link to and many other sources I can choose from. But unfortunately, not with pool party because we have only a predefined set. And uh, 
the German command summon on the tie is not one of that set right now. So it's a little bit inflexible in this uh, sort of finding new links. So what we have to do in the future, or I have to do, maybe, is we need more links, of course. And as we have seen briefly, we need multilingual support because most uh, sources and the web of data and the linked open data cloud are English. So we need an English translation for all the classes. And in the next step, we can expose our bibliographic data to the open data cloud. And that will be another great adventure, I guess, because we have to choose the right vocabulary and the right tool for the non-technical librarians. And then when we have done that, we can go on the great uh, goal to interlinking the gender community with yeah, different uh, classification systems and the different uh, holdings. And that's in the future. So, there's no lying around on the pool. We can't get, get comfortable lying on the pool. You still have a lot of work and a lot of questions to answer. So thank you and I await your questions. Could you kindly talk about the top layer of your cake where it said trust? What exactly do you interpret that to mean? Yeah, I don't know exactly what trust that means because we're only on the third level, I guess, in the field of the semantic web people and we are librarians. I mean, I'm as an interested semantic web field, I'm only on level two on the RDF uh, level. So I'm not there yet, and I guess uh, the research in semantic web is only not there. It's a long way to go, but it's a theoretical uh, stake. Thank you for the questions and